Hey guys, um, I'm just cleaning up today. Nothing too, too exciting. Um, we have these old barns and anybody in those um, uh, farms that have been around for a while, they collect everything. So I'm just sorting and getting things sorted so metal goes with metal, tires go with a certain area and then wood can be burnt and then everything else kind of gets organized too. I'll take you guys along. So this is the red shed. Um, this is where uh, a bunch of stuff has been stored. It's the last kind of remaining lean-to. There's a bit of a lean on it, so I'm not too excited about putting anything valuable in here. But it still does work as a good storage, and I want certain things to come inside so that um, they're not outside and getting rusted out. So I'm trying to clean this up so that there's at least more room back here so that I can store some stuff. Uh, I'm just going to work on that today. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. This is my grandpa's pride and joy here. Um, we got this in the 90s, and it's a little Massey Ferguson lawnmower. I have to replace the clutch in it um, one of these days. It had the engine replaced. Um, I think there's a Briggs and Strat Stratton that they threw in there. And, um, yeah, so I'm working on that. But take a look at this. So this right here is a chicken crate from um from prior times uh this would have been before they had plastics and stuff but i just wanted you guys to note the craftsmanship like they have little sleeves that pop in so you can throw the chicken in and then it when it goes in right in the right position you just have this easy notch uh, i'm going to show you the other one too this one right here has a little hole as you can see and it's got a button and you push down the button and you slide it in and then when you want your it locked you slide it back out but this thing is made incredibly and all that is is a piece of wire that's kind of on um, that's tight and all you do is when you push it down you take the slack off and then there's two little pieces Let's see if I can get it There it is. So it just it goes in and out. And then this thing slides in and anybody who's ever moved chickens, that's very efficient. Like it, you don't have to lift up and latch it, um, like the, the new ones. Um, so you can do that with one hand. So you put a chicken in and one person can do it. I just, I can't believe the craftsmanship. That, that's what all I want to show you guys. So I'm just reminiscing a little bit here, but this is a mud and snow tire that I just dug out of here um, on the one shed I've been cleaning out. And uh, I'm just noticing the weight difference and the quality difference. Like this is just a mud and snow. It may be a bigger tire for a truck, but it's it's double the weight, at least, of, that, of a standard tire. And uh, it, it must be a totally different rubber because you look at the tread and just how hard it is and how stiff with a normal tire if you were doing this with your all your weight it would be flex and hard this it's just so stiff it's so strong just don't make tires like that anymore they don't make a lot of things like that but just the difference in quality but that uh our commercialized world has created just uh, a little shocking to me thanks for joining me on this one today guys uh feel free to comment rate and subscribe I really appreciate it if you give a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, please comment if you guys have any questions or if you want to voice your opinion on stuff. Um, I really want to kind of get this going and this channel out there. So it really helps me out when you guys do that. Thanks. Take care. Keep farming.